It's been called the November 4th revolution, Riyadh. How much is this arresting control by Ben Salman? And how much of it is to calm frayed nerves among the regular citizens who are suffering from the oil price shock? I think uh, rather than calming the regular citizens, I think it's, the idea is that you're, he's fulfilling a promise. So fighting corruption was one of the major promises in Vision 2030. And this is uh, being pitched very much to the local population as fulfilling one of those promises. And by some parts of the population, it's certainly being received as such. Um, but you know, I think also anyone looking at the scope, I think your earlier guests uh, mentioned that the scope of this thing, uh, it included businessmen, included senior princes, included princes that are not in business necessarily, um, it does uh, show and I think does send a clear message that uh, there is one person in charge and that is the crown prince. Riyadh, what qualifies as corruption there? They haven't been charged as far as I know with anything yet. No, there have been no formal charges against the the people individually. There have been uh, sort of things on social media. Uh, some of the things that are mentioned as money laundering, uh, bribery, uh, you know, s uh, skimming off the top from contracts, that kind of thing. But it's uh, the charges have not been uh, officially uh, put forward onto the individual, so we, we don't know specifically who's charged with what.